Yeah, Dory, uh, Coach Midget said that uh, coming into camp, he wanted to see you be a more consistent player. And then when we spoke to him recently, he said you have been. What was really the, the key? Like, how did you become more consistent during practice? Uh, I just think men doing the same, you know, things I've been doing, um, you know, focusing on the details, the little things. I'm knowing what I'm good at and not trying to focus too much on that. Just the things that I'm, I don't um, see myself doing well that I want to improve on. Uh, I've just been trying to focus on those things and uh, just taking the coaching. Uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much the whole ordeal, everything uh, with a new coach. Uh, just taking in the coaching and what he sees, what he wants me to do, and trying to implement in my game and just trying to do the best that I can you know, to help the team out. Thank you. Uh, Jim? Uh, Dory, what, what do you feel like your preparedness level is, uh, you know, going into the 2020 season? And, and maybe what are your thoughts on the challenges you'll, you'll face right out of the gate against the Broncos and their receivers? Uh, we've just been trying to, well, for me, I'm speaking for myself, I mean, just trying to focus on getting 1%, you know, better every day. And I think that's just the, the goal every day, just trying to improve, get better on uh, everything, you know, in your game, whether it be physically or mentally, uh, just trying to go out there and get better every day. So that's that's one of the things that I uh, look forward to and working on um, this season. What do you think about them and their receiving core and, and how much is facing them last year help you? Oh uh, yeah, they got a lot of great you know, receivers. Um, just you know, a, a talented offense. You know, a lot of weapons over there. Um, you know, they, yeah, just great, great receivers and and and, and a lot of offensive weapons. Uh, Teresa, uh, Dory, some of those offensive weapons. Uh, I'm thinking Judy, particularly, uh, haven't had a chance to see him in this scheme with no preseason games. How challenging does it make it to prepare for for a, a rookie like that? Um, and, you know, in those aspects, you just got to, you know, hone in and focus on, you know, your technique and, and just make sure you're doing your job and focusing on yourself and you don't have, you know, enough, a film, you know, to watch and look at or whatever it may be. Um, in that instance, you just go out there and um, just focus on you and try to get a um, compete every day and get great looks and, and whatever it may be uh, in practice and try to take that over to the guy. Uh, David, go ahead. Dory, the last couple of years, you, you had Logan here, played with Malcolm. You were sort of the young guy of that group. All of a sudden, you're one of the more experienced members of the cornerback room. Do you, do you feel any sort of different sense of responsibility this year because of that? Uh, I, I feel like, you know, just trying to help, you know, when needed and where I can. Uh, that's, that's, that's with anything, you know, and, and in life in general, whatever I can do to help. I uh, want to, you know, try to help and, then, you know, have another addition with Joe um, here. You know, I'm thankful to have him, you know, talking to him and being able to pick his brain and, you know, what he sees and what he, you know, what he can help me with. So, you know, no matter how old you get, um, you can always still learn. And, you know, even though I am, you know, one of the older guys, well, not one of the older guys, but being older now, just trying to help as much as I can with some of the younger guys if needed or whatever it may be, but I'm still out there trying to learn and get better. Buck? Thanks for doing this, Dory. I know you guys typically don't like to speak for anyone but yourselves. I'm wondering, though, if I could ask you about how you, as a teammate for Kevin Byard and Kenny Vaccaro, how you observe their relationship uh, with each other, the way that they work with each other. You see them hyping each other up on social media all the time. What's it like from your perspective to see those guys who are tasked, essentially, with having your back? Uh, I just think, you know, the, the team aspect and camaraderie, um, you just think a team, that's what you think about. Uh, I feel like as a team, that's what we want to implement. That's what we want to show. Um, having each other back, you know, um, just on to go back to life in general. Um, you just got to have each other back no matter what, different situations, different backgrounds, but you always see that we come together um, in this world. So we're just trying to implement that and show that, you know, for everybody else and, and others to see that, you um, just got to be there for each other, one another. Uh, Paul? Hey, Dory. Uh, Kevin was saying the other day uh, that maybe he expects more more four-man rushes getting home, and those are heaven. Uh, with, with Vic Beasley now and Jadavian Clowney, uh, you foresee maybe more of those, and, and you guys uh, not, not needing to help out as much and maybe having more in coverage? <sighs> Just going out there and just trying to play, play ball and do your job, you know, um, do 
do your job and you know and like we always say your brother is going to do his job so um in that aspect just going out there and playing whatever god brings and whatever happens it happens and if something doesn't go your way just keep playing and keep getting through it